of Bloody Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Black Clover chapter 304. So last chapter, um, Asir was avenged and I'm really, really happy with how the Magicula fight ended because it was not only Noelle that got um, the kill, it was Noelle and um, Nozelle that got the kill and it feels like everything came full circle because remember it was all because of um, Asier getting cursed by Magicula that um, Nozelle was treating Noelle the way he was so now because Magicula is gone <sighs> his storyline is like with, with Noelle is complete. At least, that's what it seems like to me anyway. Um, but anyways, let's get to chapter 304, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Reality and Magic. The fierce battle has ended. Magicula's curse is dissolving. And you know what this means? It's not only dissolving um, on, uh, on Lola Pacheca, it also means it's dissolving on Charlotte, so I hope we get to see that too. I swear, I don't know what Tabata has against Charlotte. Again, I am not a Charlotte fan, but I swear, Tabata has it out for Charlotte. Let's see. Noelle, you did it! Yeah, she did. Uh, Queen Lollapacheca, you're awake? I'm sorry, I'm sorry um, that I'm naked. Don't worry, I haven't seen anything at all. <laughs> um, what are you doing, dumb stuff? What are you, I haven't done anything. Uh, oh yeah, she naked because of that outfit made out of curse. Lollapacheca, um, this is undying after using power up here. Uh, let's see. Well, Pacheca, I'm so glad you're alive. Uh, Noel san, I'm dying. Yay, we have the reunion. Um, what's up with you all of a sudden, Noel? Shut up, dumpster, you. Hmm? What should I do? I'm so happy to see you again after such a long time. I'm so embarrassed. I can't even look at you proper, properly. What's wrong, Noel? Hey, Noel, it's nothing, dumpster. Hey, Noel. Poor Noelle, she too embarrassed. <sighs> Big Brother Nozelle? Even though the curse has been lifted, I still can't speak to Noelle properly, even now. I'm, thank God we're getting some Charlotte content. I'm sorry, Charlotte Son, the effect of my magic is about to run out. I still couldn't achieve the ultimate picture. My ultimate picture really is... Okay, I have to say this right now. Tabata, Rill could have gotten that ultimate picture if Rill was the one that broke a world of decay or slash decaying world. Why? Why did you deny Rill this? I am still, yes, I am still salty that Asta fucked this up. That is the only thing that ruined this fight. Well, the fight wasn't completely ruined because of how it ended. But goddamn, it was almost ruined because of Asta sh uh, showing up. But, motherfucker, real saying this really can, really makes me mad. It does. Because it really... Uh, between that and Asta saying that he wasn't even useful in this fight. And then Gaja ended up being okay. It's so like... Are you goddamn serious? Are you god? Um... Rill should have been able to paint his ultimate picture, or at least get very close to painting his ultimate picture up in this fight. <sighs> swear, I swear. It's not even about the Charlotte content anymore. This is about Rill now. And I love and I love Rill. <sighs> Fucked over my boy Rill Tabata with this. Why? Why do you have it out for Rill too? Um, what are you apologizing for, Rill? I was able to fight thanks to you. I'm grateful. 
Moreover, we cannot die just yet, right? Kaja-san! Oh, Pacheca-sama, I'm glad you're safe. Ooh. Gaja! Captain Charlotte! Captain Rell! Water recovery magic! Aquanaroa! My magic, it can't heal these wounds! You, this can't be! You will help save me, and yet I... No fucking way! Gaja, I can understand. No way are you doing this to Charlotte and Rill. No fucking way. My devil destroy can't do anything about their wounds. Damn it, isn't there anything we can do? That's it. These people worked hard and did the right thing. I can't let them die like this. There's nothing that can be done about them. We've beaten the Supreme Devil. That should be enough for us. Vice Captain not. The righteous are not always rewarded. That's reality. Although I would like for them to be. Hey, uh, hey, yeah, I know. I've already brought the person you asked me to. Yes. Oh, thank God. Mimosa, Mimosa, oh, Mimosa, you can be useful for once. Thank God. And yes, I know, I know I'm going to get shit, I get shit in my comment section when I say it. Oh, and I bring up Mimosa not being useful. It is an, it is an ongoing inside joke about Mimosa. <laughs> it is. But yes, thank God. Mimosa, you are being useful. Thank freaking God. I am glad that it is Mimosa that is getting to do the healing. She needs to be useful somehow. Thank God. I'm very happy. And also, Mimosa got this huge power up. So she deserves to be the one to heal. But let, let me talk about this form up in this gig. <gasps> this, 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 this is what I call a transformation. Oh my God. The wings are all made of different flowers. I wanted this for Charlotte, but with roses. That is what I definitely, I technically got it eventually, but ooh, Tabata, you gave me everything. You gave me what I wanted with this design here. Ooh, this is beautiful. I got my flowers and the wings. I got the dress looks fantastic. I love the top part here. The covering on the chest looks great. The, the gloves look fantastic. Oh, the Tabata. And then the get and then the rest of the gown. <gasps> the gown itself. Oh my god. This is everything. I would love love, love to see a cosplay of this with real flowers. I doubt it will ever happen, but, oh, could you imagine this, like, at a parade, like, at a rose parade or something? Oh, if someone did this at, at, like, the rose parade, oh, my God, I would die. I would fucking die if someone did this at the rose parade. Holy shit. If someone does this at the rose parade... Oh my god. Oh my god. Please someone do this at the fucking Rose Parade. Seriously. Oh my god. But, oh, okay. The only problem I have, I have with this outfit, with this whole look, is them earrings. Why? Why them earrings? Ow, cat, you and your claws. Yeah, I know I shouldn't be talking about them earrings. I know I'm being nitpicky about them earrings. But, but goddamn. Goddamn, why the earrings? Why? Them earrings are, are an eyesore. You couldn't make them, like, unless you're telling me they are potion bottles. Why? Why, why, why are them earrings like that? Why? The crown is fucking fantastic. The gown is fantastic. The wings are fantastic. The gloves, everything, all, everything else is fantastic. But the, but them earrings though. 
Ooh. Them earrings, though. Oh, God, what an eyesore. What an eyesore. I won't let anyone die. Ultimate Plant Magic Flower Princess's Dreamland. Oh. <gasps> I have probes for this. I'm glad that this is Princess and not Charlotte. Because Charlotte, remember, she the queen. So I'm glad this is a probes that she the princess. Thank God. Thank God. I love this. I love this. Reality can be turned into whatever we want because it's magic, right? I'm oh, sorry, I fucked this up. This recovery magic is... Reality can be turned into whatever we want because it's magic, right? I'm not happy about Gaja. Charlotte and Rill, fine. Gaja, no. No, 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 no. Gaja-san, real, Captain Charlotte, um, Mimosa, you're amazing. <laughs> I'm so glad that you did this all for my sake. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Please stop, not at all. This is, this was my duty as, um, as a spirit guardian. You do get the feeling there's more to it. I love you. Oh, Tabata, now you're trying to suck up. I, you are trying to suck up because you, I, oh God, I can't even say, I can't say Mashimaiing anymore. I can't, I can't even say Nakabaiing anymore because of what, what's been going on in the four nights of the apocalypse. Because we've already had death with Gonzo. We already have had death in that manga. In Eden Zero, we have had death as well. So I cannot say Mashimaiing or Nakabaiing. <sighs> Tabata, why? Why, 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 why are you doing this? Why? God, no, 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 no. You should not be fucking with death like this. I don't give a fuck if Gaja confesses or not. I do not care. No. No, 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 no. It means Gaja's sacrifice was for... Gaja's sacrifice and all that shit he did. <sighs> it means that cha Oh, God. It means that chapter really had no impact impact no more. Not as a queen, but as a woman. I love you, but not as a queen. Not as a queen, but as a woman. Wait, wait. What? What are you... Ooh, did I do something wrong? Hey, Lola Pacheca... Um, Lola Pacheca is blind, but if it's Gaja... I hate to admit it, but Noelle got stronger because of him. We definitely must sit, uh... We must definitely, um, save you, Yami. Yeah. Somehow they have gotten even stronger than I, um, had previously imagined. With this, um, there's only one Dark Tribe member left. All that remains is a short while before Megiculous defeat. <sighs> we have wasted enough time. Let's put an end to this. Damn, what are we, oh, damn, what are we gonna do? Negri-san, just buy me three minutes. I'll end this with my next attack. The decisive declaration, its true meaning is, oh, I cannot wait to see how you do this, you know. I can't wait. So, here's my thoughts on this. First of all, Now, with this chapter under our belts, I'm even more annoyed that Astig came and interrupted the goddamn fight. I am. Because what was the point of Astig being there? Why? Because based on what Rill said, he could have just fucked it. Rill would have been closer to his ultimate fucking masterpiece and he fucked it up. Ugh. A 
The thing is with, um, oh, and now let me talk about, I got to talk about mimosa. Mimosa, I love, love, love her outfit. I do. I do. But, and I know I'm going to get shit because I'm saying, yes, um, I'm happy about Rill and, Rill and Charlotte, but not happy about Gaja. Look. Gaja, a few chapters, remember, Gaja, a few chapters ago, was, like, on the brink of death. And he said he was doing this for his waifu. And Gaja was going to have his last hurrah doing this shit against Megicula. And this was his time to die. It was. His, it felt like his storyline, especially with Megicula gone, his storyline was done. There was, no, nah, there was no reason for him to be alive. This would have given more impact to his sacrifice. I, why? Why? <sighs> Magic is not supposed to bring someone back from the dead. No. No, 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 no. And you know what it really makes me think of? It re this makes me think of is um, Fallon five seconds after meeting. We had a character that was just like this, that was basically about to die and could have been saved, literally could have been saved with one of the power, with one of the, um, uh, with, uh, Akira's, um, healing powers or no Akira's uh, power because you know Akira's power is um, whatever you know the person thinks it could be but you know what dude said he uh, oh my god it's gonna drive me nuts if I don't have his name Kumagiri could have stayed alive he could have stayed alive and you know what Kumagiri said Kumagiri is like no it's my time I am um, I'm barely alive now and even though you could save me I know, no, nah, you just need to get out of here. I know it's my time to go. I did what I needed. I, um, I help. I did what I needed to do here. You, um, oh, I know I'm on, um, the brink of death. You need to go. Just get out of there alive. And like he knocked Akira out, got him, um, and you know, got him out of the calamity. I know I spoiled a little bit of that manga, but God damn, you guys need to read that manga. It's so good. The anime, it doesn't look like the anime um, interpretation doing a good job. So that's why I say you got to read the manga. Um, but, and then how um, Kumagiri went out after that was, it was a beautiful, beautiful death. It was. But here, this is why I'm, why I'm bringing it up, is Gaja, it was very similar. Gaja said he was sacrificing himself for his waifu. He got up, you know, for a last hurrah. And he should have died here. He should have died here. Charlotte and Rill, I can understand. Because Charlotte and Rill were, like, very close to dying. But they still had storylines. Gaja did not have a storyline anymore. His storyline was done. Why is he still alive? Rill and Charlotte still have storylines. Rill needs to finish his ultimate masterpiece, and Charlotte needs to go save Yanni. Why are they still alive? And yes, I know you can make the argument for Charlotte that she could die because of her um, curse being broken by Megicula. Yes, you could make that argument, and her storyline being somewhat done. But no, her storyline ain't done, because she has, she has her husbando. And yes, I know you could say that about... Uh, you could say that Gaja is inspiring her to freaking confess to Yami. But no, 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 no. She can't die yet because she got to, she knows she can't die yet because she got to confess to Yami. She knows that. You don't need to do this shit, Tabata. <sighs> I'm so annoyed by this. I am annoyed that, that Gaja is still alive. It really feels like that, that shit that he did. Was, was done in vain. It just reminds me of, of what happened in Fairy Tale with Juvia. When she did that shit. Oh my, when, oh God, it, that's what it makes me think of. It just reminds me of what happened with Juvia 
in fairy tale when she did that sh when she sacrificed herself for gray and then a few chapters later she came back to life that's what this reminds me of and i'm not happy i'm not happy at all again i'm real and charlotte it's a completely different story um because they did not say they were sac uh, tabata you didn't have them saying that they were sacrificing themselves for uh, in the case of Shiloh, for hus her husband, oh. you did not have her say that shit. You did not have Grill saying he was sacrificing himself for his art. No, you did not have that. And plus, Grill has that storyline that he has not created the ultimate painting. So their storylines are still going. I just, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Ugh. Gosh, it should not be alive. Gosh, it should not be alive. I'm very, I'm not happy. I am not happy. The rest of this chapter, I am satisfied. For the most part, I am satisfied with. But, especially with, you really fucked not especially since this chapter could have been very powerful with what not said about the reality of things really powerful but not nah, you fucked that up because again you could have had sharp you could have had magic the thing with magic for um charlotte and will you could have had that and then the reality being gaja that's what you should have done tabata that the reality was that not even Mimosa's magic could bring Gaja back, even with the dreamland, even with her fucking up with reality. Gaja could not come back. Unless you give me a consequence here for her fucking with death, then I, I, no, this, this ain't working for me. I'm not sorry. I'm very curious what you guys think. What do you guys think of this chapter? What do you guys think about Gaja still being alive? Do you guys think that it should have, for magic versus reality, it should have been that you know magic being able to heal will and charlotte and G the reality being that gaja dying i'm very curious what you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to our game sync if you love what i'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive there are a few ways you could do that you could donate to my cash app paypal patreon purchase something off my amazon wish list all that's in the description box below also make sure you follow me on twitter twitch um Discord from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!